Crafty Hope. Welcome. Yes, I'm the face behind, <laughs> behind Crafty Hope. I decided to turn the camera on. It is June 1st, which means is the first day of Index Card a Day, better known as ICAD. This is a challenge that comes from Tammy Garcia of Daisy Yellow. She's also Gypsy999 on Instagram. And she created this, I, I think this may be the 13th year, something like that, of ICAD. And normally, or at least the last couple of years, I've done daily or weekly or whatever videos. I'm just not going to be able to do that this year for ICAD, but I am participating and I will be sharing what I make on Instagram every day. And I decided to maybe do these little short vlog type videos that maybe at the end of the week I can show you. It won't be my processes, but it will be like me telling you a little bit of what I'm thinking because this year I'm working on stitches. I want to develop my ability to do other stitches than just a running stitch and a French knot when it comes to embroidery. So I thought for ICAD, I will work through it. If I can use Tammy's prompts or my friend Nina has mixed media ICAD prompts, if I can use those and incorporate them pretty easily, maybe in the background or something, then I may do that. Or if what I can stitch, I can do that with the stitch that I'm learning. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd share with you what I am doing today is day one. So I want to update you real quick. I'm going to have links to Tammy and to Nina below so you can find their list and links and all of those things. But it's day one. So I am using four by six cards. These cards are came, I bought a 10 full of um, what looks, I don't know if they were libraries or for somebody else's collection of like albums because they have, a lot of them have like album names and artists, uh, music artist names. Like this one I'm working on says Doris Day on it <laughs> and it says Columbia Records and so I don't know what it came from but I decided that I'm going to use those since they are what they are. Okay, so let's see. The Daisy Yellow prompt today is Sapling, and Nina's Mixed Media iCAD prompt is Text from a Game. So what I have done is taken my card and added some gesso. Um, I then watercolored some little botanicals for Sapling, and I used this bingo stamp um, with some broken China Distress Oxide to make these. So... I've now got a strip of fabric that I am working on my running stitch. All the books I have have the running stitch as their starting point. And basically that's what we all know of as a, um, we all do for slow stitching. So that is what I'm working on. I am going to start, I have a pin cushion here, my little fancy pin cushion that is full of, threads on needles that I've used throughout my 100 day project which ended also today and I think I'm going to try to empty some of those needles of their threads so that I will have empty needles to work on with some of the other embroidery flosses I have in my collection and I'm sitting here tying off my tying off my first running stitch here as I finished off that. So I'm just going to run through this and um, I will eventually glue this <laughs> to the bottom of my card and that will be my day one. So I will show you it in a minute. ICAD number one is done um, right here. I will show it to you better in just a second. Probably have a picture at the end of the video. My hair is looking crazy. Um, anyway, that was fun. I, I hope I enjoyed this. I know that I probably will not get um, to do all the prompts on all of these and um, you know, that's okay. I really enjoyed, I found, 
I didn't think I was gonna stitch on the paper for a running stitch. I really thought I was just gonna stitch on my fabric. And then, um, I don't know, I had, I was, hadn't used as much thread as I thought I would. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and stitch on the paper. And I enjoyed that so much more than the stitching on the fabric. Um, I think cause it's less floppy. So I'm um, learning something already with my cat and my stitches. So, um, I think, I'm not sure which st stitch I'm doing tomorrow. I think my stitch encyclopedia, hold on, my stitch sampler um, has a weaving stitch as the second stitch, but a bunch of the other ones have like a chain stitch maybe, or a back stitch. So I don't know, I guess I'll look at what the prompts are tomorrow and I'll figure out which of those stitches I'm feeling. I'm sorry if I'm not looking at the camera. I, I'm so bad at this, y'all. I'm so bad. Hopefully I'll get better. So I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm not sure how to do that. Is there a button? Why isn't there a button? There's, I don't know. I'm going to turn the camera around and show y'all, um, the card and then It is day two of ICAD, which means it is June 2nd, Friday. And I've been running around all day. I went and did an estate sale this morning and I came home and had lunch and I've cleaned the house a little and now I gotta get to my ICAD. So <laughs> the prompts today, the Daisy Yellow prompt is, what is it? It is polka dots or graphic dots. And the Mix Me iPad prompt from Nina is washi tape. So, and I've got this card and I have uh, just at the front of it. I just like the texture it gives. Um, and I was thinking I might do uh, dots with watercolor. I don't know, I might could still do that. I don't know, that it's hard to watercolor with washi tape because washi tape tends to be kind of slick for the most part. So what I have pulled out and I'm still deciding is I did get this washi tape. This is a Heidi Swap washi tape, I believe. It's fairly big. Um, and I don't use it for much of anything because it is so big, but I thought it could really nicely be like part of a background on my card. Um, I went through several fabrics, found one with the polka dot pattern on it. So I may use this as my like fabric portion. And I grabbed just randomly out of my basket, this like peachy colored. I thought it would be a good contrast on top of that. But as for stitches, I'm, I don't know, since I'm working from several different books and looking at them and trying to figure out what would be the next level after a running stitch, one of mine has a, oh, I can't think what it's called. It's like a whipped running stitch or a wrapped running stitch, or I might use it, I might not. I'll mention it when I get done. Um, but another book says seed stitches, which I have been wanting to kind of work on like the randomness of a seed stitch. So I know I'm going to do that, um, probably within my polka dots. So that's my idea now. And I might try to also do that other stitch as well, but I don't know right now. I'm going to start though with the, um, yeah, I'm going to get started and we'll see where I go from here on my iCAD and my stitching. That happened a little differently than I thought it was going to. So I ended up, yeah, I used all the prompts. I decided since the card was gessoed to put a little watercolor on it, make some, make some, uh, some dots, um, just like the Daisy Yellow prompt. So I did that and splattered some splatter. And then I don't know, I just kind of played. I took the fabric and I found, I told you yesterday, so just a minute ago, that I, the, 
I enjoyed working with the card more than the fabric because the fabric is so flimsy. So I tried putting it in a little hoop. This is the smallest hoop I've been able to find. I had to buy a kit in order to get a hoop this small. It's not great. Um, if anybody knows a good source for small embroidery hoops, let me know. Because um, when I'm working with little pieces of fabric, you know, holding it's hard. And so if I had a hoop, that would be, be awesome. Anyway, so I made this and I did... I did my seed stitches um, on the fabric, on the card, and then I decided, you know, to kind of rehash my running stitch from yesterday. So I am I did that on one side of my fabric and then around one of my dots. So I did do stitches on the fabric, um, running stitches on the fabric and the paper. Um, I've got washi paper here, I mean washi paper, washi tape here, I've got dots everywhere, everywhere there's dots. Um, and I did running stitches around here and some seed stitches up in here. So that's my card, I'll give you a better look at it in some pictures or a little video or whatever. And yeah, um, it's not what I expected, but I did all the things I wanted to do. It is Saturday, June 3rd, so it's the third day of ICAD, and the Daisy Yellow prompts are MAP, and the Mixed Media ICAD prompt is Anger. Mm. So I pulled out a couple things that I'm going to try to get to, um, I'm doing this kind of early because I want to go, I have a bunch of, I've got a video that's going up in a little bit, and because it's like 8.20 in the morning, is that right? Um, yeah, so it's like 8.20 in the morning. And I want to go hit a couple of state sales that start at 9. So we'll see. It could be crazy if the parking gets too bad. Sometimes I just keep going. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, but so for map, I've got this, which is a street map thing. It's like a book from, um, I've got two of them from Nashville, Tennessee. I found somewhere. Um, and I like just the black with the red on it because for anger, it makes me think of like red and fiery. And um, so I've got a couple of red embroidery flosses that I need to reddish. These are more maroon. I might go find one that maybe is a different shade. Those look awful close to one another because I want two different colors to do the whipped running strip, not a whip stitch, a whipped running stitch. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I'm tempted to see if I can just glue this down on my card and then follow maybe one of these lines somehow. Um, and that, so, and I might try to find like some kind of quote or something that's angry, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Mostly I'm trying to remember that my iCAD this year is supposed to be about the stitches, not about the prompts, but I keep trying to bring the prompts in, but I, I'm trying to use them as like a jumping off point. So I don't have just a plain card with stitching on it, but I also want to do fabric on this somehow. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try to figure out how to do that. So that's done. Um, it, it's different than I thought I was going to be. I did start by gluing down my map and then I realized I wanted to do fabric and uh, on the paper, which is, you know, something I'm, I'm enjoying experimenting with. And I made this card. Um, so yeah, the thing about the whipped running stitch, that's why I said it was going to be is that you can do all kinds of decorative ways like woven close or loop-de-loops like I did the loop-de-loops up here and the closer here and I went with an orange for a contrasting since I said that um anger makes me think that it's fiery so yeah so that's I kind of went with fire colors the red and the orange so and the orange tends to stand out more but that's fine because there's so much red on that map page 
and I uh, yeah I got this sassy lady on here who looks like she is about I don't know if that's backwards or forwards to y'all I, I don't know how these backwards cameras do um that says she was tempted to cause a scene and she looks like she is about to cause a scene so I'm gonna give you a better look at this and um yeah I'm, I'm glad I, I tried that one we'll see what tomorrow holds Fourth, so it's the fourth day of ITAD, and I think today I'm doing the double running stitch. So I'm still on running stitches. <laughs> and, um, this one is you do a running stitch evenly spaced, evenly um, the stitches and the spacing are even, and you go in one direction and then basically you come back. So it's kind of like a um, a back stitch, I guess. But um, yeah. So I'm doing that and the daisy yellow prompt for today is espresso and the mix me iCAD prompt is spray paint. Sorry, I'm looking at my card. <laughs> and so I have gessoed this card because I think um, for espresso, I'm probably going to use some of my um, dried up instant coffee to paint the card. For spray paint, I have a um, newspaper that I had used under some things I had spray painted with gold spray paint. So I think I'm going to maybe do strips of that on there. And then, um, of course, stitch my fabric and stitch my card in some way. So I don't think it's going to be super fancy. But um, yeah, I'm going to work on that. So. So my card is done. Um, I did the uh, double running stitch across the bottom as well as the stems going up for my little botanical things because I decided I wanted to do something a little decorative. Um, and then for the paper version, I put them here. You can see in the back. Oh shoot, did I do? Uh, I did it upside down. <laughs> it's okay, I've done it before. Um, that's really funny. Um, <laughs> I knew that was the bottom too. That's so crazy. Um, it's fine. Um, I found that with the paper, it was really good to pre-punch the holes for that because then you could definitely make sure it was evenly spaced. So I really liked that, that I could pre-punch those holes with the fabric. Again, I didn't work in a hoop, so it was a little floppy, but it was fun to play with. I think I like this double back, no, double running stitch more than a back stitch. I haven't done my back stitch yet for this project, but I've done them before. And um, I always feel like a back stitch wastes a lot of fabric, but not fabric, a lot of embroidery floss, but I don't think it wastes any more than this does. But there's something about this I really enjoyed, but we'll see when I get to my back stitch, um, how I feel about it there. But I like this card. It's, um, it's got some the spray paint. I, what I didn't like is that this coffee, when it dries, tends to be a little sticky for a couple hours. So it was sticky when I was trying to hold the edges of the card. And that's on me. I could have coated it with something first, but I like it. I'm happy. I'll get It is what day is it? it's Monday the 5th of June and um, yeah time for another iCAD so I am I know this one I'm probably gonna do quite a bit of stitching on so I've got some other projects I'm gonna sit and do that with so I don't know if I'll get that on the overhead or not today um, but let's see so I am for my stitching project going to work on the back stitch I think I mentioned it yesterday that I'm not a huge fan of it because it always feels like 
you're using too much fabric or something, but I don't think it's going to use any, uh, not fabric, thread. Um, I don't think that it'll use much more thread than the double running stitch that I did, double running stitch that I did yesterday. I don't know. Everything's shaking. Um, so, but yeah, I'm going to do my back stitch today, um, which the daisy yellow prompt is zebra or striped. So I think I might... Um, yeah, make the stripes with the, with the stitching somehow, but that's also, you know, I did stripes yesterday, so I'm kind of like, I wish I had looked ahead and realized I did stripes the day before stripes was, yeah. Um, I feel like everything is on my desk is shaking, but also the mixed media I had prompt is Van Dyke Brown. And I didn't think when I wrote these prompts and I had anything Van Dyke Brown, but I have since discovered that I do have this, um, ink which is a uh, India ink that's Van Dyke Brown so I will probably put that on my card I think I'm going to add some gesso first real quick and then put that on my card and then somehow do my fabric and my stitching yeah we'll see it I don't know hmm hmm yeah, I'd have no idea. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. So this is, I'm just trying to get through today, Mondays, or, you know, I'm um, sorry, I've got a text coming in. I'm trying to see what it says. So Mondays are difficult because I'm trying to, it's my planning day and I've got a lot of things I'm trying to juggle and figure out that I want to do. So I'm going to try to do this and we'll see. Okay, that's done. Um, the back stitch is easy. Um, I could have done something super crazy and wild and um, trace something, but since that daisy yellow prompt is striped, I didn't see any reason to, to get too complex with it. Maybe down the line, I'll try tracing some other things, but my nerves are a little shot. The dog's been barking, um, at something going on in my yard and she just won't stop. Of course, she's gonna be quiet right now because I'm on video. Um, <laughs> So this is my card. Um, so for zebra striped, you can see I just did stripes with the Van Dyke Brown. I just put it in the background. I didn't really do separate stitching between the fabric and the, the card. Uh, like I said, my nerves are <laughs> So I just, I tacked down my fabric to my card and then just stitched over it. I found, you can see I started with some really tiny stitches and I found that line, made the lines kind of like crazy. But if I did these really long ones, these long stitches, my lines were like straighter. Um, so yeah, and it made it go quicker. So, and I wanted a quote that I thought I had a quote of a sticker or something somewhere that said something like, there she goes, be a zebra in uh, like in a herd of, of horses or something. <laughs> I don't know, but I couldn't find it. So I guess I don't have that. And maybe I made that up or dreamed it, but instead I chose, I admit that my weirdness is above the national average, but I'm comfortable with that. So, um, that's today's card. It's a little weird. It's a little crazy, but it's got stripes, Van Dyke Brown, and Peck Stitch. Hello, it is June 6th. It's Tuesday. It's been crazy for a Tuesday. I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, I went to go get groceries and one of the churches had like a ton of people there. So I'm wondering if it's vacation Bible school or something. I don't know. It was real crazy. Um, and it didn't look like it was a funeral or anything because there were kids on the playground. So, um, um, Anyway, it is June 6th of, and so the sixth day of ICAD index card a day. Um, I have my index card. I have prepped it with some gesso. The two prompts today, the one from Daisy Yellow is Wildflowers, which I love. And then the mixed media ICAD uh, prompt from, um, from Nina is Phone. I, I don't think I'm going to use that one. I cannot... I cannot reconcile that with wildflowers with doing stitching. So, um, yeah, I don't think I'll be doing Nina's prompt today, but that's okay. That's, this is about the stitching and my stitch today is going to be the split stitch. So it's another outline stitch. Um, and I've got a couple ideas. Um, yesterday I ended up not doing like on the fabric and on the 
card and I think today I'm going to try to do both but I'm not going to try to I don't know I think what I'm going to do is paint uh, do some watercolored flowers which I love to do and then use some green floss I think I used some of this the other day uh, to do like vining maybe between some of the flowers and then use a piece of fabric to put like a leaf or two that I end up gluing onto the card so I think that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna I'm gonna go do that That was that was more trouble than I thought it was gonna be actually I've done a split stitch before but that was that was way fiddly um so I did it on the card first and made my little vines like I thought it was going to and that was a problem because I couldn't have them too close together or the holes kind of interlapped and tore the paper so um I don't think a split stitch is one that's great on paper because the other problem I found was I couldn't quite find where to bring it up in the thread so I found once I was doing it on fabric it was a little bit easier to figure out where the tip of my needle was by pulling it across the fabric and getting it under the thread to split it for the split stitch I'm shaking y'all sorry um it was even better. I think the video clip you'll see if I put one in, I was just doing it by holding the fabric. I ended up putting it in kind of wonkily in my little, uh, the tiniest embroidery hoop that I have. And that was easier even. Um, it made it always makes it easier to hold and I wish I would just think about it and not so hopefully by the end of these 61 days I'll remember to use my embroidery hoops so that's it I'm done I've got wildflowers and a split stitch on here I think it's really pretty um I'm sorry I think I'm gonna add actually a little bit um around the edges with some walnut stain just to kind of frame it up and then it will be done so i will give y'all some looks at that and i'm sorry i couldn't fit in the mixed media icad prompt a phone that just i don't know with wildflowers i just couldn't i couldn't get it in my head the right way so that is it with some distress ink around it and um yeah i'm really happy with that all right guys um i will see you tomorrow It is June 7th, which means it's the seventh day of ICAD. Um, I've prepped a couple things. I've had a day. Um, I'm getting things done, but at the same time, I feel like I've run crazy and I still have more things to do, more things I want to do, but that's, that's life, isn't it? We all have those days and those moments in life that just keeps us running. So I've, yeah, been out to the two places where I sell my jewelry in the brick and mortar stores and art and yeah I've been to the library which was crazy because apparently Wednesdays they have some kind of kids activity and there were like so many kids in the lobby and so I stayed there as little as I could I like grabbed what I needed to do and got out of there. I was like oh my gosh so um so it is time for me to do this I can before any more of the day gets away from me um my the daisy yellow prompt for today is treble clef and so that i just grab some music paper that has treble clefs on it i did look it up y'all you know, i i play the violin and can read music and all of that but it's been years so i had to make sure treble clef was what i thought it was that's how brain dead i am um and then the mixed media i had prompt from nina is weaving which is fortunate because my stitch for today is the threaded back stitch, um, which is a lot like the whipped running stitch that I did a couple days ago, where you take a second and possibly third piece of thread and weave it through your stitches. So I'm counting that for my weaving. How about that? 
So yeah, I'm gonna get going on this. I'm kind of excited, ready to do it. Um, I've pulled out, I've gone ahead and put a little piece of denim and a hoop for me to do some stitches. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here. I'm Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be as fancy as yesterday. <laughs> it's just another outline stitch. They've all been outline stitches. Okay, I'm gonna do this and um, I'll let y'all see some of it if it's interesting. That is done. Um, it was a little bit lengthier than I thought. I mean, I've said it before. I don't really care for back stitches. It always feels like it's it's using an excess amount of thread because you like skip a hole and go. I don't know. Um, but on the fabric, I um, you should have seen it. I should have had a video there. Um, look at that, y'all. It looks like a little bit of chain. Like I don't know. And it could be the color that I've used or whatever. Now up here along the outside, I alternated and did the yellow for my back stitch and then the brown for my weaving or my threading. And um, I made them longer since I was going to go all the way around the outside. And it it's not as neat looking. <laughs> So I think the little ones with it, and I only, I did it on the both sides and not just one, which is fine too, but I wanted to see how it looked with both. So, um, that was fun. It was fun, but it was, it was a while. So, um, and as again, I enjoyed it more in the embroidery hoop than really on the fabric, but I did pre-punch, not the fabric, Enjoyed it on the embroidery hoop with the fabric than I did on the card, but I did pre-punch the card to make it easier on myself since I knew I was just framing this up. So I glued that down and then um, poked holes with this pokey tool. Um, yeah, so done. I'm 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 pretty happy with it. It's fun. All right, I'm hoping that this will be the last one, not the last one, but I'm hoping to do these a week at a time. So this is probably the video that is going up for you to see if, if I can get it all edited. I've never done this. Um, so let me know if you have any questions. Um, definitely tell me if you like this. Um, I've considered a vlog for, I don't know, a while now, and this might be my like introduction to it. And so let me know what you think. All right, guys, I'm going to be stitching again tomorrow and just go check out. I am trying to use the hashtag ICAD stitches for my ICADs um, since I'm doing stitches. But I'm also using the other ICADs as I use the prompts. So, okay. I hope you're playing along. Have fun. I'll see you later. Like this and uh, subscribe and follow those things.